I actually just returned from Beijing last night uh, after watching the big uh, October 1st uh, spectacle. It was just unbelievable to watch, to see the parade, to see the, the precision, the difficulty of putting something like that together. And you can tell the looks on the faces of the people, the young people, old people, everyone felt so proud to be Chinese. This showed the advancement of where China has come from where they came and it made everybody so proud and I myself felt very proud being Chinese now. <laughs> the thing that stands out most in my mind of course was to see the advanced uh, uh, weapons now that China has uh, to protect China in the future and I believe that some of the new equipment that they were showing is further advanced than any other country in the world. I think that uh, President Xi, uh, when he talked about uh, during his speech, uh, he talked about the prosperity of keeping one country, two systems, uh, both for Hong Kong and Macau, and how important it is to China uh, that we uphold uh, one country, two systems, uh, especially uh, knowing the difficulties that Hong Kong is facing at the moment and going through. For me, it was reassuring to see that China uh, really wants to continue with the one country, two systems. Hong Kong itself is changing. For Hong Kong, the future, of course, is the Greater Bay Area. Uh, the Greater Bay Area that China is just introducing, 11 cities in total, GDP of uh, 2 trillion U.S. dollars last year and uh, approximately 70 million people. So young people can really have job opportunities, more job opportunities and a better lifestyle in the Greater Bay Area.